<laughs> line of best fit. What is it? A straight line to a scatter plot of data that indicates the pattern and design of the scatter plot. The line should have roughly an equal number of points on each side and should spread out the points rather than concentrating them at one end. Think of the name line of best fit. Okay, so we know we're going to be drawing a line and it has to be the best fit for the data. So you're looking at a scatter plot, right? And there's some examples below. And you're drawing a line that's as close to the points as possible. So I want you to write that in your definition, as close to the points as possible, okay? And you wanna make sure that there's an equal number of points on each side of the line. So what, that, what does that mean? Pretend this is the data I'm looking at. If I were to take my ruler and draw a line of best fit, do you think that I should draw the line here? No. No, no why not? Because it's all the, all, the points are on one side. all the points are on one side of the line. I want to draw my line as close to all the points as possible and so that there's an equal number of points on each side. So I might take my ruler and the correct line would be around here. Okay. Some of the points will touch the line and some of them won't. Okay. You're just drawing a line in between the points. Okay, so the line shows a trend, and it's going to help us make predictions about the data that we're looking at. So we're going to be looking at different graphs and trends that it's following. Okay, we're going to decide if there is a positive correlation, a negative, no correlation, and then if it's strong or weak. So let's look at the first one. A. Would you say that this is um, a positive or negative correlation? Positive. positive, good. How do we know that it's positive? It's rising to the, right. the line is rising to the right. Would you say that this relationship in this data is strong or weak? Razor. We could say that this data would be more towards weak rather than being strong because the points aren't very close to the line. Okay, and what about B? Would this be positive or negative? Negative, negative. good. And would you say this relation is strong or weak? Strong. It would be stronger, okay? So we'll say strong. Really? It's stronger, I'll say stronger than A, because the points are closer together. C, would this be positive or negative? Negative. And this would be a strong or weak correlation? Strong. Okay, this is very strong. What about D? No. So is there a trend here? Is there, look at the points, they're all scattered all over the place. Would there be a trend in this data? No. There's no trend in the data. So no trend, no correlation. This data is not related, okay? There's no relationship between the two variables there. Okay, so in the example we looked at, we were looking at the um, hours of TV watched and a student's grade. And once we plotted the, the data, so the x-axis, we're looking at the number of hours of TV that was watched. And on the y-axis, we plotted the mark, which was a percentage. So I'm glad you indicated here percent, okay? And this would be number of hours of TV watched. Okay, once we plotted all the information on the graph, we looked and we saw that it's a negative correlation and it's strong. Why would you say that it's strong? Exactly, because the points are fairly close together. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to interpolate. So what does that mean? We just discussed it. What does it mean to interpolate? Good. Calculate or estimate values from known data. So we're gonna look at the line. Okay, so I'm just gonna choose a point here. Let's say here on the line. And I'm gonna use that information and I'm going to, thank you. I'm going to estimate, I'm going to, I'm going to, based on this trend, okay, because we can say that there is a trend, what happens if a student watches, what point of this, how many hours of TV would that be? So here's one and here's two. So 1.5 in between one and two. Based on this trend, if a student watches one and a half hours of TV, based on this trend, what would their mark roughly be? According to this trend, what would their mark be? Around how, what percentage? 85%. 
okay? This is from known values, okay? This is from the information given. We're looking at a trend. We're saying that if, what is the trend actually? You tell me, what is the relationship here? What happens as the hours increase? What's happening to the grade? Yes. Sorry? You get a lower mark. According to this trend, according to this data, the more TV you watch, the lower your mark's going to be. That's what this is showing us, right? This was a, a survey that was done, and this was the relationship they found. So I'm interpolating that according to this trend, if you watch an hour and a half of TV, was this per week or night? What was it? Okay. Daily. This was hours daily. That your mark would be around 85%. So now we're going to extrapolate. So what does that mean again? Let's extrapolate. Okay, so to extrapolate, we need to go beyond the values already known. So I'm going to, you, I want you to do this now. I want you to extend your graph, okay? And I, I'm running out of space here. And remember I told you to take a different color pen and a ruler. I don't have a ruler right now, but you're going to extend the line. Okay, so now we're going to look at beyond the data we had, and I'm going to make a prediction based on what might happen if a student watches, let's say, eight hours of TV. Okay, so you need to extend your graph. So how did you count here? Um, three, four, this would be five, six, oops. Okay, so now I'm going to look at if a student, according to this trend, if a student were to watch eight hours of TV, which is an excessive amount in one day, right? Let's see, okay, I'm going to see where my point hits the line around here, and we need to see how many hours would that be. So let's go across, okay? It helps if you have two rulers, because you can line up the two rulers and see where the point hits. So according to this trend, if the student watches eight hours of TV, what would their mark be? Around 25%. And that makes sense um, if we're looking at this data and the relationship, because the relationship said the more TV you watch, the less your grade is going to be, the lower your grade. Made with DoodleCast Pro.